I've got three PlayStation parallel port cheat devices. I'll go through the menu of each one, show you what they do, and then I'll tell you the real reason people still buy these. This first one I'm going to show you is labeled Power Replay 3. Uh, they're all labeled pretty corny stuff, but they're, they're your basic uh, same form factor. They have a parallel port on the back, which was used for printers back in the day, back in the 90s. And this is um, Sony's interpretation on the bottom front of what the parallel port was um, into the PlayStation itself. Then you've got an off on switch on the right side. Plug this first one in. That one slides in pretty easy. We're gonna power it up. It goes right to start because this switch is down. If the switch is down, it'll just try to start the game. Flip the switch up, power it on again, and then you are presented with the menu. You've got normal start, which would start it as if you didn't have the device in, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because if you're going to do that, why would you have the device in anyway? Uh, start game with code. You do that if you have code selected. Select cheat codes. You have to select whatever your whatever game you're going to play. Dragon Ball GT. You go through and you can select. I'm not sure what's off and on. Oh, plus. Yeah, plus is on. Master code. Ooh, you can put in your own stuff. Or put in a new code. Save to keep. I don't want to save that. I put anything in. And you go through. And I like it. This is eight, but VII for seven, in Japanese version. Ah, right, come on. There we go. Memory manager. You can work with your uh, memory cards, which you could do with without this thing. So I'm not really sure why that's on there. Um, it seems to load pretty quick though. It just populates real quickly. Whereas the PlayStation menu itself takes actually quite a while if you have quite a bit of stuff on there. Um, image viewer, there's I don't have a disc in there. Uh, CD-ROM player. Now loading. It's not going to load because there is uh, there is nothing in there. And reading error. And if you saw Power Replay 3 Y2K version. Y2K was a big thing. Well, everybody thought it was going to be. Uh, I know my, my parents bought a whole lot of gold, or what they thought was pure gold, which turned out not to be, so they tried to return it after the Y2K, and they didn't get their money back at all. Pennies on the dollar. And I told them that, uh, that that whole thing is crap, because even if it, the double digits were to roll to zero, to, to zero, zero, that computers would not know that there was no electricity back on, like back then. They would just uh, keep running. And they didn't listen, and uh, sure enough, absolutely nothing happened. So that's uh, this one, the Y2K version. This one I got because of its clear shell, the Game Hunter CD version. I'm not sure what the CD version has to do with it, but it does look pretty cool because you can see through it. And it does have the same exact form factor as the first one, if this would focus. Come on, there we go. So imagine, there's probably the same thing in there. Switches in the same spot. Labels in the same spot, and they're indented a little bit too. So they had that to put a label in. Pop this one in. Power that up. Start game at mod play. I think that just means start normally. It looks like each one of these has it has the same the same basic menu and the same options. However, the cheats themselves are a little different. And this one is a UK version. It's all UK stuff. Which is weird if it came out in the UK why it would say UK. Stuff that comes out in the US 
doesn't say US all, all over it, just a different region. But again, this is the parallel port, so it wouldn't matter um, the size of the television because the system would read it out and put out whatever native output it had. Memory manager, same thing. These are pretty much identical. The version difference, I, I don't know, they seem to work the same. Start game with cheats. Yeah, this is uh, pretty much the same as the first one. This third one I got, Game Enhancer 2, it actually came with Vox. And it's interesting to note that it has Sony, trademark right there, PlayStation is not. And down here, Sony is not trademarked. Neither in the front. And it came in, it's where the, uh, the plastic it came in is actually yellowed and shows quite a bit of signs of aging. It's even starting to crack because it's just old and brittle. But the box looks just fine. So I don't know how UV rays would have gotten through the box and into this thing, but Apparently that, that's what happened. Now the form factor on this one is a little bit different. It's the same basic shape, same basic setup. Um, this one is snapped together. That's what you have right there. So you can actually pull this apart with some screwdrivers, which I'm not gonna do. It's now enhanced to two megs. Wow, Game Enhancer 2, on off. This one fits a bit more snug and this one I found to be more reliable it's it's a little bit more weighty and uh, it just feels like a better build now this is the gold finger the one that most people have seen this is just a straightforward one uh, it's the same as the other ones but just uh, more I would say low level more more basic um, build in cheats built-in cheats maybe custom cheats I don't know maybe somebody put these in themselves get this off of eBay so really who knows memory manager that one seems to always be the same now, the reason I got these was to put the Unirom mod on it so you don't have to I wanted to test it to see the comparison um, in start times and various other things between having to put a legit disc in and then have the spin down and put a backup copy in and then load that. What the Unirom does is you just, it injects it into the system um, to boot up and then you can just put a backup disc in and it will just boot that up. I haven't seen Mappy in a while. Save this. So yeah, that's that's the basic gist of these guys. They'll pretty much work the same. Um, I may get some others in the future. Um, now, like I was saying, the reason people really get these is to back up. So yeah, you uh, you put a real disc in, and it it starts up, and what it does is it tells the system that okay, this is a real disc, and then it does what's called a spin down and the spin down is where the uh, the drive actually stops and it stops then you put your backup in and then that slows down and you replace it with the original one and then once it loads to a certain place you can put the backup in that really messes with your drive and with uh, with the motor and eventually that's just gonna crap out and you don't want to do that and again this is not promoting piracy I, mainly use this for my uh, PSX uh, pad test to test new controllers that I get um, with uh, it was Shento XT I think developed that thing and that, that is an awesome awesome program um, probably one of the best that I've ever used on the PlayStation as far as homebrew but it'd be cool to just boot that up with one of these devices and I was gonna put the UROM on these but I'm not going to I would rather get a duplicate of one of these and put uh, put the Unirom on there 
and then just use that because these ones have some, I don't know, they may be unique, but the software that's on them, I kind of want to keep the way they are, the way I got them. So, uh, if you're going to get one of these and use it, happy modding. Like the video if you like the video, subscribe to see more of my ramblings, and press thumbs down if I suck. Basically.